I'm fine. I um, uh, I just need some fresh air. Maybe you should sit down. I can get you a glass of water. Oh, Charles, I forgot how sweet you are. The only thing that matters is that you finally know the truth. I do, and I'm sorry. What on earth do you have to be sorry for? For believing all your lies? No, actually, I was just going to tell Charles how sorry I am for trying to force a reconciliation between the two of you. I know that will never happen, and I should have accepted it sooner. Happy Thanksgiving to you too, Lily. I promise it'll get better. Nate and I survived both our chapters. It didn't work. Hey, Dan, before you go... That was from all of us. Daniel. I just wanted to say I was impressed with your latest literary offering. You've restored my faith in your generation. If you ever need anything, give a call. Do not leave me alone with them. Last time I attended a shunning, I froze my drop off in Siberia. No, I can get you this cold around here. Do you, you think they hate me? They fear you. Welcome to the Upper East Side. Mind if I join you? Not at all. It's been a trying night. I was thinking about taking a few days at Marival, if you don't mind. Sounds like a perfect idea. to work on your poker face. You're not fooling anyone. Like Chuck said, it hasn't been a great time for me. Okay, so tell me what's going on. Who was on the phone? Look, it was Bart Bass. A few months ago, I made a mistake with the spectator finances. You know, the kind that sends you to prison. Bart knows, and he's using it as blackmail to turn me against Chuck. Well, there must be some way out of it. <laughs> no, there isn't. Because I'm guilty. And if you want to leave now, then I totally understand. Are you kidding? Now you're the good guy and the bad boy. I'm not going anywhere. 